Thanks for joining us. Striking nurses voted Thursday to end their walkout and approve a tentative agreement endorsed by union leaders this week. That agreement followed a 17-hour negotiating session with federal mediators at the governor's mansion on Tuesday. Alina Health and the Nurses Union were able to come to an agreement on all outstanding issues, including hospital security, staffing, and perhaps the biggest sticking point, health insurance. CTN's Jordan Rylands has more. After the longest nurses strike in Minnesota history, Alina Health and the Minnesota Nurses Association reached a contract agreement, taking nurses off the picket line and back to the bedside. I'm hoping moving forward after a ratification today uh, that we can have a smooth transition back into the hospital this weekend and uh, get back to doing what we love to do. At the request of Governor Mark Dayton and Lieutenant Governor Tina Smith, federal mediators were brought to Minnesota to come to an agreement on the last outstanding contract issues between the two parties, which include nurse-only insurance plans to be phased out completely by the end of 2018. Alina will provide nurses with additional HRA, HSA contributions in 2017, 2019, 2020, and 2021 for nurses transitioning away from these plans. No changes will be made to diminish the value of the Alina First Plan for all employees through the end of 2021. And Charge Nurse Assignment Task Forces will be created to evaluate the circumstances under which charge nurses take patient assignments. Alina Health President and CEO Penny Wheeler issued a statement saying, quote, our goal all along has been to reach an agreement that is fair to our nurses and sustainable for our organization. I'm proud to say that with this agreement, we have achieved that goal. More than 4,000 Alina nurses will return to work this weekend with full details of the contract agreement to be released in the coming days. In Coon Rapids, Jordan Rylance, CTN News. Since May, nurses rejected three contract proposals, mainly over Alina's push to replace union copay plans with higher deductible corporate health plans. Nurses will return to work starting at 7 a.m. on Sunday.